Hi guys, Mr P here. Now the latest Apple update, iOS 11, there's been some really nice features added, some that are great for teachers, so I wanted to share five of my favourites with you. Number one, quickly mark up screen grabs. So when you press the home button and the lock button, it will take a screenshot, bottom corner now, you can click onto it, and you've got these options to annotate the picture before you then save it to your photo library. Really quick, really easy, and really, really useful. Number two, record your screen. First thing to do, head to settings, tap control center, then tap customize controls. Here there's lots of options for you to add and organize other controls that will appear in your control center, but the main one we're talking about here is the ability to record your screen. Then when you swipe up from the bottom of the screen to the control center, you'll see the record button. You will then get a three second countdown, a red bar will appear at the top of your screen and it will then record the screen for you to make video tutorials, app demonstrations, explanation videos and when you're finished just tap the red bar at the top, it will then save the video to your camera roll for you to then share with your pupils. Number three, turn your iPhone or iPad into a mobile scanner using the Notes app. So when you open Notes and start a new one, tap the plus button. You will then see the option to scan documents. Here using the camera you can scan pictures, books, worksheets. You can save them and then share them to places like Seesaw for your students to access and use in class. Number four, using your camera as a QR code scanner. To begin with this one, you're gonna to need to go into settings, find camera, where you'll then need to turn on the scan QR codes option. When you load up the camera and you scan a QR code, an option will appear for you to then open that link in the desired folder, whether that's Google Drive, Dropbox, on the web, whatever it might be. So no need now for extra apps. And number five, the drag and drop feature. So I love using my iPad to multitask where I can split my screen between two apps. As you can see here, I've got a pages document alongside my camera roll. And now using the drag and drop feature, it makes it really easy for me to share photos, videos, documents, pages, or on email, whatever it might be. Great little feature. And there you have it, hopefully some really useful little tips and tricks for you to make the most out of your iPad with the new iOS 11. Don't get me wrong, there are some downsides. It's a shame that we're losing some apps, some of my favorite apps, Telegami, String, Augmented Reality app doesn't work now either. Hopefully they will be updated soon. But also watch out as I will be blogging all about the new AR kit and all the augmented reality apps that are coming through now because of iOS 11. Really, really exciting, so watch this space. And uh, yeah, thank you. Make sure you do subscribe on YouTube. Really do appreciate it. Cheers, bye.